Hey guys, Inkdivate here. So, you're wondering about Wither Skeleton Skulls. So first off, we know that the current drop rate for a Wither Skeleton Skull from a Wither Skeleton is 2.5% or 1 out of 40. And if you have looting enchantment on your sword, the drop rate increases by 1% for each level of looting you have. So if you have looting 3 on a sword, your chances are over 2 times as good as a sword with no looting. So now let me pose a question. If you kill 20 Wither Skeletons with no looting, what are the chances that you will have a skull by then. So I constructed the simple formula on Desmos.com's graphing calculator to answer this question. The x-axis here is how many wither skeletons you kill, and the resulting y-axis here is the percent chance you will have a wither skeleton skull by then. So as you can see, if we kill one skeleton, there is a 2.5% chance that we will get a skull. We already know that from the drop rate. But if we kill two skeletons, there's about a 5% chance that we'll have a skull by then. If we kill three, there's about a 7% chance. So all we need to do is go all the way to 20 on the x-axis, and we can see that uh, that's 40 on the y-axis. So if you go to the nether and kill 20 wither skeletons with no looting, there's about a 40% chance that you'll have a skull by then. But Inktivate, what if I have looting? Good question. I included a slider over here uh, that you can drag and it'll change the graph uh, depending on how much looting you have. So. Uh, if we have looting one and we kill 20 skeletons, uh, there's about a 50% chance that we'll have a skull by then. If we have looting two, there's about a 60% chance we'll have a skull by then. And looting three, about 68%. So with all this in mind and this uh, graph we have, the title of this video is How many wither skeletons do you have to kill to get a skull? So obviously this is not like a numerical like, oh, 45 or whatever. It's it's all a matter of chance. There is an average. So to find this average, all we need to do is find the 50% mark on the graph. Because at that point, half of people will take less than that many kills to obtain a skull, and the other half will take more than that many kills to obtain the skull. So yeah, you can see if you have no looting it uh, and you kill 27 skeletons, there's about a 50% chance you'll have a skull by then. And we can also find the 50% average with all the kinds of looting. And so for looting one, it'll take you about 19 skeletons to get a skull. For looting two, it'll take you about 15 skeletons. And for looting three, it'll take you only about 12 skeletons, which is crazy, only 12. So that's pretty awesome. You know, like the average amount of times you're gonna have to try to get the skull. But also remember that this doesn't mean that like most people will take this long necessarily. It just means this is like the middle of the ground. Different individual results will tend to differ a lot. And you can see that this line is, you know, longer than this point. This point is just the middle of the ground. So anyone can go, anyone could end up anywhere on this line. And so this is, so since this is the median, uh, if it takes you less than 27 skulls with no looting, if it takes you less, uh, you are in, you are getting lucky. You are in the 50% lucky crowd. And if it takes, it takes you more than that, uh, then you're in the 50% unlucky crowd. So this is the exact divide where you could divide everyone between getting unlucky and lucky. I've also included a slider for the amount of skulls you want to obtain. So since most people want to obtain three, you know, because that's how many you need to spawn the wither boss, let's go through the average amount of wither skeletons needed to kill to get three skulls. For no looting, it's a whopping 62. <laughs> and for looting one, it goes down to about 44 skeletons killed. Looting 2, it goes down to about 34 skeletons needed to kill. And for looting 3, it goes down to about 28 kills. So yeah, looting 3 versus no looting could, could mean taking, you know, one hour instead of two and a half hours to get this skull. So looting is super important. I guess that's like the message of this video. Also a bunch of weird numbers. I don't know. There's a link to this interactive graph in the description of the video, so if you want to mess around with all these values yourself, feel free. I'm going to end this video with some interesting facts surrounding wither skeleton skull drop possibility thingies. Number one. With no looting, 10% of people will get a skull within their first four kills. Another 10% will kill 90 skeletons and still get no skull. Theoretically, you could kill a thousand wither skeletons and still not get a skull. That's probably never going to happen though, because the likelihood of that event occurring is 0.000000001%. 
so no worries. <laughs> Expanding upon that, if you put 98,942,825,591 people in a room, give them computers and say, hey, go kill some wither skeletons and get me a wither skeleton skull. It would take about one guy a thousand kills to get one. Poor guy. If you put a thousand people in a room and all told them to get a wither skeleton skull, about 25 people will get it on their first try. With no looting, it takes you about 27 kills to get one skull. With looting three, it takes you about 27 kills to get three skulls. This is actually a big coincidence and not like a linear progression because the pattern does not hold for looting to one and two. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I, I do know it was a lot more mathy than, than usual, but I could not help myself because this stuff was too awesome and I spent too much time on it. And I don't know, I, I like this stuff. I'm gonna be a computer science major because I want to make video games and websites and stuff. So yeah, that'll be cool. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.